All right, guys, welcome to the best of one, uh, best of one EV box versus a Reshazad. On the left side, we got Arthur. On the right, we got a Kovac Paintings. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is, you know, definitely an interesting matchup here. Uh, we see who's going to go first, and I think Kovac decided that Raven is going to go first. We see some shuffling still happening right on the left side. You know, Raven, we see the sexy tattoos. Of course, amazing, amazing Arthur's tattoos. And, you know, they both do have, you know, you see the red, rose on the red hand. Is going to be a factor we'll see we'll see if there's going to be a factor so uh, one two three four all right five six seven we've got you know she counted it now rave uh, now Arthur. I, I should say okay let's take a look heatran we've got some fire type energy acrobike and a custom not cosmetic uh raven uh Arthur's side actually now uh, well, we can't see you know, that clear, but definitely I think that was a drudge, or maybe that was Eevee. We see Tapu uh, Coco right here, Tapu Coco Prism. I think I saw Elm's Lecture. Uh, let's go Acrobike, Pokemon Communication, you know, GXs. That's a handshake, and there they are. Off. They are off, and let's go. So, as we all know, you know, the same matchup that they've all played many, many times. Elm's Lecture already from the top. Amazing start from Otto. Amazing start, you know, definitely a start that, well, okay, that's one, two, you know, he's browsing through the deck. Uh, that's a great, you know, technique that we, he actually uh, picks that card that he thinks he would want uh, up. He checks the deck, definitely, you know, nice, nice deck check. You can see, you know, some music in the background, or you can hear that, because uh, they had some music. There's a shuffling again, so three EVs, uh, of course, two with Follow Me, I believe that those are two with Follow Me, and two uh normal right now on the board because he's gonna play them uh let's take a look yep and he plays so we got tapu coco we've got four evs uh, i'm trying to guess what he has in his hand you know definitely i saw two energies i think i saw two energies and then there they are right yeah i think i also see a jolteon i'm not sure honestly i'm not sure if i do see a jolteon here but that, there goes the energy. The first energy uh, he attaches to the active Pokemon. He passes the turn and then draws Nine Tails. So definitely an unfortunate draw. But you know, Acrobike. Uh, let's see. You know, there can be a Pokemon communication to the Dedenne. Uh, we've got a Victini and Switch. Oof! Definitely, it has to be a Victini played. So Victini played. That is you know surprising because you not always see uh, Victini being played uh, during the first turns. But I think we might see a Dedenne from this Pokemon communication. Uh, we see the Dedenne is in the deck so yes it is not even checking the deck just going straight for straight for the dna just like the proper rushes out player would do not even checking the deck just going for that the dna because they know 50 percent of the deck is energy of course you know i'm joking you can see you know rain here just uh, looking browsing for his heart so he actually showed the cards to the camera uh, i think that was a judge electro power custom catcher and an Jolteon, yes, he's showing his playing to the camera. He is a showman, he knows what he's doing, but the hand is really tough. But uh, hand attachment and the Dane, so two energies uh, in the discard pile. Let's take a look one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, discard pile right now is Acrobite, Pokemon Communication, three energies, uh, I believe. Ooh, fresh new hand, Pokegear 3.0 out of the top. Uh, definitely, you know, uh, Otto here clapping from the left side, uh, applauding this play, and definitely he noticed, he noticed uh, what was in uh, the Discord pile, we got a skateboard, we got... Kovac took nothing, that is quite interesting, uh, I honestly thought uh, we would see something, you know, the switch, there was also, you know, this... There are a few other things that I honestly thought you know, we might actually see being taken, and uh, well, nothing. Uh, that is definitely you know, a psychological play here, you know, to just say, oh, you know, oh, I have nothing. Yet she might have something in her hands. So let's take a look what she has in her hand. Uh, Lucemite, I see. Well, there's a rashes on. Pocket Gear 3.0 again. So why nothing was taken uh, from the first Pocket Gear? Well, that is yet not answered. Um, maybe you now the lack of play for the past two weeks uh, got her. Let's see. Welder, of course, that's a fire type deck. Turn one, Welder. Support is still not being played due to the DNA. So definitely we might actually see. Oh, Raven, you know, like asking why didn't she pick anything? Uh, probably you know, Arthur has those questions, but there's no time for questions. He's definitely right now in a bad shape. We've got a heat run ready to go, ready to rock and roll, and ready to devastate. And as we all know, that is a <laughs> hell of a combination. We see a shuffle. Oh, okay, Arthur is shuffling as well. But let's take a look at hand. So we got Reshazar, Welder, Lucemine. 
Pokemon Communication, I believe, and a Ninetales, is it? I think it's a Ninetales, so no energy. Yes, it is a Ninetales. I see a Ninetales, so that's gonna be a Pokemon Communication for something. She's thinking, she's thinking really hard. I think, you know, the, the Ditto would be uh, a good play right now. You know, it's still turn one of the matchup of the game, and yep, there goes the Ninetales, there goes Pokemon Communication. It's, you know, it's really nice to see the thought process of the players themselves, you know, because you not always see that, you not always see uh, those plays from the top, and it's really good, you know, camera angle, I have to admit, it's a great camera angle, where we do see both players' hands, and quite nicely, so, uh, Arthur here on the left, you know, still thinking, and again, I was right, you know, uh, she went for the Ditto, I was quite right here, and Ditto, definitely an interesting play, preparing that, you know, Alola Ninetales, because as we all know, not only Wilder is important in Ability Zard, but also Ninetales, and let me tell you, you know, Ninetales is amazing, I need to, okay, there's here a little bit of talking, definitely not trash talking, maybe it is, uh, we might not know, and even though in the top right corner there is a laptop with a Monster Energy drink, uh, we are not sponsored, but Monster Energy drink, if you want to sponsor us, let us know, because we would like to be sponsored by Monster Energy to drink. I'm gonna take a drink, not of a monster, but there's a welder and a pass. Uh, Arthur definitely, you know, um, definitely confused that Kovic did not play uh, a welder as a Jolton, that she did not play the welder, even though you know, he clearly saw the welder being drawn from the Poké Gear 3.0. So now, what he's going to do, he's thinking you know, about the energy, is where he's gonna attach it. We kind of don't know what he drew. Uh, is this going to be a second attachment to the active? No. So I see there is Pokemon Communication. No, uh, Custom Catcher. I'm sorry. That's the second attachment of the energy. Electro Power. Oh, he, what is he trying to do? And a Custom Catcher, a draw of two. So he's trying to dig for something. He's digging. He's really, really, really digging for probably a Jolteon to attack. We've got a Pokegear 3.0 right here. So we got a Pokegear 3.0. Let's take a look. Oh, not a Volkner is a, not a bad option. Reset Stamp is an option, definitely. Um, but not a lot of things. What he's going to do, there's a Volkner, right? A nice League Challenge Volkner. Uh, that rate, that auto one. I have to, you know, start talking about him as uh, auto, you know. So Volkner and is Judge going to be played, you know? I don't know if I would personally play a Judge right now because, well, uh, we clearly saw that there was no energy, and that's what Arthur does, going for the energy, and what he's gonna take, what item, um, he can go for Cherish Ball to attack uh, Heatran, and, you know, he prepared, he played Electro Power, so he has 30 more damage, and there goes Cherish Ball, that's a German Cherish Ball, it's called Uber Ball, uh, from what I can see, and... He was not even coming back to deck, he already t told the opponent, you know, he already told Kovac that, well, that's what I'm gonna play, that's what I'm gonna do, and he went for it, you can see, you know, nice, fast, super fast shuffling, lightning speed shuffling, there is just no, no, uh, hesitation, you might say. So, Jolteon is right there, uh, what we're gonna see here, is that gonna be, oh, and it is Sanders Lab, but I think that right now, is, is that a good play, you know, there was nothing, and he only has, because I, we, I know the deckless of both players, he only has so many, so many uh, stadium cards in his deck, I believe two Lissander's Lab and one, one something else, uh, one Thunder Mountain, we've got uh, electro, bar, uh, electro Power, so this is what, 140 damage, because 110 damage, uh, there's no GX being used, is GX, a, not using a GX a mistake, well, it is yet to determine, uh, are we gonna go and get some more uh, sound over here, oh, I'm, I do apologize, you know, we've got some technical issues that were happening, we got some more, uh, you know, more sound, hopefully, it's, we're not gonna get demonetized by YouTube, uh, Kovac thinking about Super Scoop Up, there it goes, Super Scoop Up, it did play, and it, uh, then it goes back to the hand, so we can 
again see the Dene fresh six and that is exactly what is happening of course in a sword and shield we will see uh, cards like a sycamore and that was a Reshazad as well so she's not losing a Reshazad she's playing it one two three four five six there it goes Raven checking out auto of course checking out uh, and putting up front you know uh, the discard pile uh, Sigla Kitran hit factory uh, cherish ball of course staff promo uh, Lana's fishing rod what do we got two energies and I don't know the last card giant herf I saw the glimpse that was a giant herf right now so interesting hand definitely an interesting hand Arto in a bad shape I would say hit factory what she's gonna draw from the hit factory one two three I don't know what are the cards Reshazad Pokegir no th that's not Jirachi Reshazad and uh, ear ringing bell we all know E-Ringing Bell, uh, the card that says uh, if you attack the opponent, uh, the Pokemon that has this card attached to it, uh, your Pokemon is confused. And that might be a factor, right? That might be a factor, but my judge is allowing this uh, damage counter on the board. You know, I don't know what is judge doing. Probably playing because, you know, one of them is judge, one of them is tournament organizer. So definitely, there he goes. There the judge uh, stepped in. And what are we going to say? Oh, they're talking here. They, they are thinking. You can hear them talking. You know, checking out, checking out the con. You know, checking out the GX HP and pass. So no attack from Kovac. Actually, oh, we've got that top deck. We've got an amazing top deck, Flareon. So for those of you who don't know, Jolteon, um, your EVG, uh, EV evolution, right? That is a GX. Act. Oh, and a judge. Um, you need one less energy and from Flareon you deal 30 more damage that's why the deck is so 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 good it's definitely now you can see the shuffling down to four cards that was a perfectly executed judge he waited with it he did not actually play so fast so let's take a look at both hands uh, let's take a look at Kovac you know uh, Mega Lupani, Reshazard, Energy and I haven't seen the fourth card and it's a Lusamon you know uh, you know my friend here tells me Hello, Kovac. Hello. So, uh, Raven actually not showing us anything, what he has in his hand, you know, he's now... Oh, that might be a factor, that might be a factor. I've seen an energy card, but what else? Energy switch? I don't know if that's a good energy switch. Switching like that, you know, we know he has to get to the Glacian, he knows that he has the Glacian. He attacks, there is a knockout, 140 damage. But why 140? No, 60 damage was enough, you know, and he could have actually right now uh, attacked for 30 something on the bench. He's now confused, so that might be a factor over here, you know, confusion is a factor if you're not gonna retreat and many players try to avoid. I've seen a Cynthia in his hand as well, so energy Cynthia, two more cards, electro, uh, electro power. Giant have right now in uh, Kovac's hand and Arthur is checking, is checking and the discard pile. We've got a Lusamine, you know, a card that you rarely see in a competitive play. Honestly, right now, that's a league challenge Lusamine. Let's take a look what supporters are going to be drawn. Again, definitely Welder. That's a Reshazar deck. It has to be a Welder. And we've only seen a Welder and that is going to be it. And let's take a look. So two energies, Electro Power and Cynthia on the Raven's hand. Uh, Kovac, Janhev, I've seen Reshazad, Mega Lupani, and I do think energy. But is it energy? Is it an energy card? It is an energy card and a welder. Oh, that is a devastating hand. But Lusa Minus Supportive was already played. We've got a Hate Factory being played. All right, we've got a welder. Another welder and an energy. That is a triple welder. That is a triple, you know, that is a fantasy. That is a dream of of um, energy from hand of the rest of players having so many welders in hand and also the energy to actually utilize it. But that's going to be a pass. Okay. Kovic passes the turn. Raven draws or Arthur draws Lily's Pokédoll, but there's not enough room. There's definitely not enough room. 
on his bench and Cynthia already there's not even like thinking about it look at that fantastic fantastic shuffling what a shuffling uh, again I kind of forgot but I can't really move certain counters so I will not obstruct the view for you guys um, that's why uh, we're on the camera we're not actually getting rid of uh, those pokeballs because I don't want to obstruct the view we're gonna work on that definitely in the future let's take a look at the fresh hand to Lily's Pokedoll again we've got um, rainbow energy for the Glaceon and I think it's gonna be attached to the Eevee there it is so Alto is preparing is preparing the Glaceon to Electro Powers and Brock's Grit that is well interesting hand oh but there is still you know there's a confusion it's not that easy to knock it out and oh th that's why I say many times confusion is uh, devastating sometimes and it can turn the tides and definitely that might be a turning point right now in this matchup because that could have been honestly that could have been a nice knockout plus 30 damage on the Reshazad, but it's not now it's a giant health action Volcanon being discarded and now every rush that player's dream down goes to welders you know and honestly we all know welder is gonna come uh, probably Kovac on the on, on the right side thinks oh I wish I had lieutenant Sarge so I can play two welders and I'll be even more happier there will be you know better uh, than anything else I'll be better than a Christmas gift uh, on a warm night let's take a look what's gonna happen here uh, auto on the left you know thinking probably you know uh, devastating okay you know he was like okay you know it's cool no he uh, took a second guess and he is uh, he is cutting the deck there goes a welder. Oh, which welder to play? Of course, a reverse hollow. Uh, like every, every, every. Okay, that's in double attachment. And draw three. Let's take a look. That's a hapu. That's in super scoop up. And I have not seen. Probably giant herf. Uh, I, would, I would not, you know, say that. It's, I'm certain, but I think that's a giant half. I, I'm not sure right now. Super scoop up. On the, is it going to be a super scoop up on the Dene? Oh, what is it going to be? Is it going to be at the Dene? No, it's a super scoop up on Ditto, right? So Ditto was gonna come back probably uh, on the bench after the attack. Let's take a look. Hapu, what was the fourth cut? I'm, I really can't tell. Uh, Alto on the left in a really bad shape. Honestly, that's a really, really, really bad shape right now. We've got a Reshazad uh, being dropped. But where is the Dene? You know, uh, the Dene. The Dene is there. But Ditto, okay, uh, there's. Flareon, so some questions about the Flareon, and again, 30 more damage uh, that Jolteon GX is going to deal to uh, the active Pokemon, and that is an attack, but no, actually no uh, Ditto being played, Zeraora being, you know, promoted as an active, not even thinking, down goes Zeraora, and let's take a look here, Lily's Pokedoll, and what is Raven, what's Arthur doing, you know, there goes Lily's Pokedoll, he wants to stall, he knows he has to stall with a hand like that, down goes, he burns that Tapu Koko Prism, two energies, and onto an Eevee, and onto an Zeraora, so he pr does prepare, he does prepare his, uh, and oof, a reset stamp to four, and there is a Ditto, there is a Ditto Prism that was not played, that is devastating, you know, you can clearly see Kovac is looking at the deck and says why you had to do it. Maybe there was a slight kick down below the table, which is definitely, you know, if there is a judge, th that should be a penalty. Brock's grit, and we're gonna see Jolton and Eevee being, or going back to the deck. So, I don't have any confirmation uh, about the kick, but I think you know, there might have been a slight kick below the table. If it if it's not, I think the judges are not doing the job correctly. Of course, I'm, I'm joking, because uh, they're all uh, professional players. They're all really, really good players. And let's take a look. You know, sometimes the heart of cards is just not there. Let's take a look from the stamp. Oh, there is a nine tail. So if if there was a ditto, it could have been the nine tails on the board. Giant Herf, uh, Mega Lupani, and what is the fourth? Okay, passing right uh, out of passing the turn. I think it's a scoop up. And I do believe that that was a welder draw, which is absolutely mental, and it's crazy you now to see this being draw. I think, I, oh, it is! It actually is a welder. Are you kidding me? I mean, that is like insane amount of luck. Like Pokemon communication on uh, Nine Tails, <laughs> probably to search for a Ditto. 
Oh, I okay. I think the judge allowed it. You know, there was maybe a question to a judge that the judge allowed something like that. But now, now he knows. Now Alto knows that there is a Nine Tails coming. Now, of course, that's a detail that should have been played turn earlier. He should have been played a turn earlier, and that you know is an error. But uh, Reset player now is definitely up ahead a little bit. There goes a nice shuffling, nice shuffling from the right side. But wow, what a welder that was, you know, uh, the draw of a welder, of course, you know, there's a giant half, so nothing will stop the power of welder. That's why the welder is the main engine right now in the format. That's why he's good. Uh, Art on the left, you know, he's just checking out uh, how much energy he knows that Victini is uh, important to to to. His opponent, he knows that Victini uh, is also the key card, and we all know that Flare Strike, which is an attack of uh, Reshad, can't be used this turn, but the GX is still not used. The same goes to uh, Arthur's GX, still not being used. There are some conversations in between players, as usual, you know, that is a normal thing. Of course, you know, uh, we have time to actually uh, take a look at the playmats, you know, the London uh, Pokemon Center playmat that uh, I've been told that the players have been to. Down goes a welder and two energies, not on the Victini, actually on the Reshazad. Oh, is there, is there a hesitation? Is there going to be energy on the Victini? Or it's going to go underneath Reshazad. There is a little bit of touchy touchy and smudgy smudgy on the Reshazad. Ooh, Reshazad has to feel good. Let's see. Uh, okay, you know, some crowd, the crowd is laughing a little bit. You know, they've actually picked up that joke. Thank you guys for listening to that joke. It was provided by a uh, yours truly Raven. There goes an acro bike and Lana's Fishing World and Hapu what she's gonna pick is this going to be a Hapu or a Lana's Fishing Rod I think Hapu might be risky because um, I don't know if you can see that but it clearly shows that there's not a lot of cards left maybe the 20 cards I would say left in the Kovacs Kovac Paintings deck and around like 30 in uh, Artus deck there goes Lana's Fishing Rod so this means that a Pokemon tool and a Pokemon are gonna go back to the deck and that's a heat run again another fantastic deck we know that GX is still not being used so definitely you know that's a great 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 idea from 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 Kovac right here and as she's shuffling don't forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel and check us out live on Twitch and uh, you know subscribe and follow all those things that are on your left side of the screen all those links check them out they are worth it there, there is a drudge in hand nine tails why no Ninetales on the board? That is risky maneuver over here. I thought, you know, we will see Ninetales, but there was not. So if there will be a reset stamp, that would be a problem, but there was not. Maybe Kovac was reading uh, Alto right here that he is bluffing. He has uh, nothing. Let's take a look. Zara Aura is an active Pokemon. Of course, Outrage was used, which is 30 damage. So uh, don't worry about that, guys. Okay. Now the Cherish Ball. Is there a Cherish Ball right now? I think it... Is there a Cherish Ball? I don't know, I because he does need a Cherish Ball right now. Poke Gear? I mean, he picked up a Poke Gear, but is there a Cherish Ball? I don't think there's a Cherish Ball right now. I think there's not. <laughs> no, there is not. I mean, that is just so lucky, because if there would be a Cherish Ball, that would be a completely different story, but there's just no Cherish Ball in his deck, so he's going, you know, Poke Gear, that's, yeah, like, you could have seen, you know, uh, how he threw that card, it was like, okay, you know what, ah, all right, Poke Gear, you know, still, uh, he's still browsing, what we might see, you know, there's an energy, and only an item card can be taken, oh, Electro Power, is Electro Power going to be taken, you know, sometimes as the battle goes on, you know, as the play goes on, it's sometimes really hard to figure out what is play, what's not, but yes, Poke Gear is the play right now, uh, of course, it's a Leak Cup promo, and again, Volker was a Leak Challenge promo, so, you know, you guys, if you want to have the same cards, you can uh, actually check them, you know, he shows to his opponent some respect, uh, Shuffle my deck Ch take a look and let's see what's gonna happen Flareon Jolteon in the background there is some kind of you know like Slavic music going on a Witcher theme you know heavy you know uh, thing it is getting intense it is getting hard and we all know that all right he's thinking about the energy is there gonna be an energy attachment oh no a retreat a retreat that is a mistake 
That is a huge mistake. She has, she has nine tails, and there's a giant herb in uh, his in her hand, and, and on the play. I mean, oh, this is so crazy. I'm just like losing my mind right now, because is he? Oh, he. I probably he did not thought about that nine tails. He don't know. He doesn't know that, and he just passes the turn. Oh my! And a welder, and another welder. Like if you're a. Ah, down goes Naito. So if you're a rush style player, you want draws like that. You want to draw each turn a welder, and that's exactly what is happening right now. We got a Jirachi being, you know, sacked. Uh, there is, you know, a count of energy, uh, two energies. And I think he knows, I think he knows that Zara Aura is going to fall. He knows that he made a mistake attaching the energy to Zara Aura, and we're gonna see two energies being sacrificed. For nine tails to get that Zara Aura for 230 damage, or for the GX, so Zara Aura is going to be knocked out. Uh, Kovic is thinking, you know, that we, we can clearly see, like, oh, uh, Alto asking, you know, why it's not, is this card not in this card pile? Is there some kind of a cheating? No, there was not, not cheating, you know, it was uh, in this card pile before, before he could have noticed, uh, of course, from the giant half. And I think he now shows um, Kovic that, well, Zara Aura is knocked out, and well, well, there's nothing he can do. So let's take a look here. Flash Strike is right now active. Not a lot of things that he can do, you know. Definitely you know, he can put the dice uh, somewhere else. Kovic really thinking hard right now, you know. Maybe the rose on her hand is guiding her. Because you can clearly tell, like, something is guiding welders to the top of the deck. Like, they are drawn to something. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna find out because I do want that. There down goes welder, super hard. It went so hard that the camera should, because again, when you play welder, you have to play it super hard. One, two. But why welder? Why are, I mean, I don't know. Why, why, why there is no uh, Zara Aura knockout? Right? Uh, wait, what? That is a Jolton knockout. I mean, and that was a flash strike. Flash strike on. On that, on that Jolteon, that is insane. What is going to happen? Pokigir 3.0. Now, Alto starting to play it faster. He knows that he is in a good spot. He knows that he has to find a custom catcher. He knows the energy that he has to attach to the Glacian right now, and he has a nice knockout because there it is. There is right here. There is an attachment to Zara Aura. Quite interesting attachment here. Uh, let's take a look. There are two Electro Powers that he's thinking about, and there's also Cynthia, and Cynthia was not played yet, so maybe that's what he's thinking about, maybe he wants to play that Cynthia, and there it is, two Electro Powers being dropped, and a Cynthia, so there's still one Electro Power in his deck, take a look at it, add this proper Shuffling, uh, without damaging the cards, he knows that the Flare Strike can't be used, but there is still GX that can be, uh, and maybe he forgot about it, we don't know, uh, so this is uh, around 220 damage right now, uh, let's take a look at the fresh six cards so we see energy we see custom catcher there is one but there is no second one there's no second custom catcher oh boy two energies custom catcher elms lecture and i don't know what are the other two i think that it's jirachi and rosa uh, but i would not get you know i would not bet on that you know because then probably i would lose my hand during the bet oh yes but there's a jirachi the team up promo i see that Clearly, as I can see all the cars, and uh, as, as I can see the microphone in front of me, I need to drink some water because, well, I'm talking a lot. Uh, that is intense, all right. Um, is he thinking about switching, you know, because he put that aside, but he can't really, you know, there's not enough energy. Oh, he's thinking? Is he, is he, is he? No, he's not. There is no switch at all. Uh, he is left with Zara Aura. Now he, yeah, now he questions it, probably, you know, he could have actually uh, attached to, to, to uh, the Glacier, and that might be the default, right, you know, there were a few, few mistakes along the way that were happening, so that's 220 damage, as I said, let's take a look, of course, you know, when you're putting a damage counter, you have to put them, you have to put them on, that is 200 damage, alright, so there's, you know, two more damage counters, and of course, there are, I can't attack during their next turn, there's, you know, Kovic is taking a look at the Glacian, because remember, Flareon does not affect Zara or GX at all, there's still both GX ready to go, but unfortunately, you no, know, Zara or GX only brings five cards to play, how do I know that, because 
I know Zara Aura. All right, let's take a look over here. We've got an interesting hand from Kovac. There is an energy. There is a giant herb. There is still nine things to play. That is, you know, like a game changer. That is a haymaker. That is one of those plays. All right, there's a count. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I think that was six. I think that was six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen energy right now. Uh, so six and then discard pile and one, two, three, four, uh, eight on the board. That's twelve, not fourteen. I think my math is not good, but I'm not good at math. Let let me tell you that. And this is intense. Oh, this is intense. Three prize cards to four prize cards. And. Okay, I think there are, you know, that they're thinking about is Victini capable of uh, knocking out anything right now? I think with you know with six energy, uh, 120 damage, maybe a Flareon, um, 160. If um, if uh, there's gonna be a discard from a Nine Tails, there's still Giant Hearth in the on the board. Ooh, Giant Hearth, as we said right now, every s ooh, 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 there is is there a there is no energy in left in the deck. So right now, if Art is gonna take custom catcher, because we know there are three more custom catchers somewhere, if he's gonna play custom catcher on that Victini, that might indicate a GG, but uh, it's still a far, far, far away from hit this. Two cards left in the deck. Uh, this means eight cards total, nine cards actually, with Lily's Poké Doll. Uh, Lily's Poké Doll from the Poké Gear. We've got a Welder. Ah, oh, of course, there's always a Welder wait with the waiting for Kovac. There's always a Welder waiting for her. Uh, so this means eight cards left. Eight. Yes, this is eight cards left in the deck currently, but there's no energy. But that's a great bluff. That's a great bluff. But I think he uh, Arton knows that there's might be no energy. There's one in her hand. So is Welder gonna be dropped? And there's a Welder. Where Welder's gonna go? We know Nine Tails can't be used right now. Flash Strike can't be used as well. Where we're we gonna see an attachment? A risky maneuver. Only a few uh, cards left in the deck. He might have a custom catcher to get rid of this Victini. One, two, three. We got Shrine of Punishment, I believe. Mega Lupin. Oof. And a Heatran GX. Not a bad card. There's still not GX, but is that card enough? Um, let's see. I mean, I think Victini is a great play right here. That Heatran drops on the board. And I think Arthur knows he needs a custom catcher. I think he knows that he needs a custom catcher. The custom catcher is something that is just gonna you know, win him a game. Because if he can get custom catcher, he's all good. But is that a retreat? I would think a retreat. Uh, definitely, you know, three energy uh, cast retreat on the Reshazad. So we might actually see a retreat, which will put a uh, total of nine energy cards in a discard pile, pile, and it will help uh, Giant Health and it will activate also Ninetales ability. Uh, I'll look at his hand, you know, uh, Custom Catcher is that there, <laughs> there are options, there is a Rosa, he's, I think he's sniping that Rosa to get that Custom Catcher, but is it there? He already used one Custom Catcher, there are definitely you know, two somewhere, but are those two in the deck? That's a different question, so let's take a look, one, two, it's gonna be three, four, yes, so the GX attack. And right now, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to one custom catcher on the artist side. Because this is a knockout on Zara Aura. That's a GX exactly. So one custom catcher. He knows that he plays it. Like he knows that Rosa is the play. He goes for Rosa and is there a custom catcher right now? Let's take a look. He browsed through the deck, he browses through the deck, and there is none. There is just no custom catcher. Are they prized? That is insane. This changes the landscape of this game because if there was a uh, custom catcher, the game could have finished. Uh, there's of course one last prize card, but you know, 
Victini would have been knocked out, only 130 damage uh, from Heatran and the Glacian would win the game, but there's just no custom catcher, what he's going to do without a custom catcher? That's a best of one game, can he actually capitalize on that, even though you know he attacks with 30 more, that may not be enough, let's take a look, you know, he, so he checks what he has in his hand, he goes for Eve. so he will pre try to prepare something, you know, probably a Jolting GX attack, just so he can actually use the GX, we can see the energy and another Rosa, that is an interesting play, you know, there was nothing else to play, there was nothing better, the Electro Power does not work on a Glaceon, we might see Handshake really soon, because, well, there was no Custom Catcher, if only there was a Custom Catcher, that would be a GG, but, as, as it says, Heart of Card is sometimes not everywhere, alright, let's take a look, so we might actually see a knockout on a Heatran, and 30 damage somewhere, because this means 120 damage, uh, 240 actually because of the weakness, you know, uh, after checking out, uh, not even checking out uh, the discard pile, he knows, he knows that he ha is in trouble, and, you know, she sits there, just waiting, right, there it goes, let's take a look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, that is 180 damage, so 10 damage off, but, if he's gonna knock out Heatran, that is going to be a GG, but, well, if he's gonna pass a turn, he might actually have a chance, and he's passing, right, so he's passing the turn, he's not doing anything, because he knew that if he's gonna pass, uh, probably, you know, the game would end, and probably, you know, uh, Kovic is gonna knock him out with, uh, with Victini, but I do think she has the game already, um, there's just no way, there's just no way, because down goes Heatran, Nightails can't be really used, that's a retreat, and that's enough, enough, enough of energy to win the game, like, there's just no even need to count, but, you know, they're just doing count, like, he knows, he know, like, he's just scooping up the cards, uh, he knows that he lost, and that is a handshake, and that is a GG, what a game that was, what a game that was, thank you guys so much for watching this game, don't forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel, and custom catchers and prize cards, goodbye, and good night.